For those who don't know, our servers burned down, and this is not some stupid storyline or anything, the building was actually set on fire by some lunatics who thought it was causing Corona, which is ridiculous because Red Dash hosts that on its private servers. Anyway, the server is now back, but it means it's a brand new world, everything you had is gone. Now unless you've bought some items or ranks, check the description because you could get those back. But we've also released a new update alongside this for Minecraft 1.12.2. And don't worry, we're still working on 1.16, a whole new Dalek mod. So please be patient, here's a small 1.12 update to keep you satisfied. If you're new to the mod, I recommend checking out the advancements, the Dalek mod wikia or the mod JEI for all the recipes. We start with Gallifrey. Here, this is the new drylands biome. And these weird cacti looking things, that's called Weenscrike. You can find some buildings scattered here of the inhabitants of Gallifrey and in some of the chests you can find loot. And these weird sprouts you see out of the ground, that's coral, growing TARDIS coral. And you can use these blocks to craft all the blocks for the coral interior, the 10th Doctor's interior, to expand your TARDIS more easily. Now, this is also the planet, as you know, of the Citadel and the Doctor's Barn. And underground, this is the only planet where you can mine the White Point Star, and this can only be mined with a Long Stalite pickaxe or a Metalert pickaxe. But with this you can craft the Elixir of Life to gain regenerations and also the Untempered Schism which now works again in survival. If you stare into this for about half a minute you get a regeneration just like the Master did. However, this only works if you've already had a regeneration from drinking the Elixir. So it only works on Time Lords and not normal humans who just started out. If you want to have this cool portal effect, you need to enable both bowtie settings in the config. This is also needed to see bigger on the inside of the TARDIS, but mind this doesn't work if you've got shaders enabled, then you start seeing really weird LSD stuff. The rock on Gallifrey can be used to craft bricks, and these bricks now also have round or variants, the same we've done with stone bricks, and with Vortis Brick, they also got a round or variant. Speaking of Vortis, here you can now find Pyramid Dungeons. They spawn on the surface and if you go inside, there's a monster spawn which spawns in Zabi you have to fight. And it also got some handy loot. Varos has Crystalline and Blue Quartz Ore. A Crystalline can be used to craft blocks for the 13th Doctor's interior, and you can also find those blocks as loot. And Blue Quartz can now also be used to craft Toyota blocks for the 11th and 12th Doctor's interior. Now, and if you want these Toyota blocks, you can also make this now from Moon Rock. Yes, the two variants of Moon Rock we have, they can be used to craft Toyota and Bergatschki, the the block used for the th first Doctor's interior. Yes, as you can notice, we've added lots of recipes for lots of roundels. <laughs> All the cool ones can be crafted now. Check them out. On Varus, we added a few biomes last update, and here in the jungle biome, the trees are now made of newberry wood. And this is the wood used for the fourth Doctor's secondary interior. In this biome, our new mobs, the Slovene, and the Mechanoids also spawn. Yeah, I, I know it doesn't make that much sense, but Mechanoids come from a jungle planet. Oh well. These Mechanoids are the arch enemy of the Daleks. And Skaro, we've also given a small update. The Dalek cities are now a bit more common because some people found it difficult to find them. But keep in mind the Dalek cities only spawn in this biome. But now inside the Dalek cities there are spawners which spawn a specific type of Dalek. <laughs> and that's going to be difficult because we've well upgraded the Daleks a bit this version. And they're a lot more difficult to fight now. They shoot more often and their health also got increased depending on which version. For example the Paradigm Daleks have increased health and the damage their laser does and the accuracy depends on the difficulty level of your Minecraft world. 
As you might know, there are also Khaled uh, domes in the Skaro Desert. Now, these domes are the most unique structure <laughs> because the rooms vary every time you visit them. And you might find Davros in here, but last time there were too few Khaleds, the, the ancestors of the Daleks. So now we've also added some mob spawners so you can fight the Khaleds. In the skies of Skaro, there always was the Dalek Emperor skin at the, like the 2000 coordinates. But now we also have two Dalek ship variants which can be found anywhere in the world. And these are some difficult dungeons because when you go here a lot of Daleks spawn. So this is a good place if you want to get some Dalek Anium for example. Uh, this planet also has Dalek Anium ore and Metalert ore. And if you mine Metalert with a launch to light pickaxe, you can craft armor which protects you against radiation, as you gotta eat a radiation pill on the moon. And, yeah. Speaking of Metalert, we've added some nice little decorational items. These are made by Kenji. Can't be crafted yet, we'll probably sell them on the server for fake currency. Speaking of Launch Delight, for those who don't know, this is an ore only found on Mars. Mind, you need a spacesuit to visit Mars. Underground on Mars, there are now Ice Warrior Dungeons, the final dungeons of the lot. No, actually, no! There were also spaceships on Trenzalore, and I've uh, changed four of those spaceships also to have mob spawners now. For example, the White Robots, great source of titanium. And sometimes in these structures you can find dispensers with roundels in them which you can use to expand your TARDIS. Because like I said, this update focuses so you can get a lot of TARDIS blocks in survival, which is handy because we're starting our competition TARDIS of the week again, soon, next month or so. Kenji also remodeled some old blocks for us so they look a bit more Minecrafty and less high detailed because that really doesn't fit a blocky and pixely game. We have the old coral rotor, and here's the new one, which shines in the dark. Here's the old Toyota rotor, which is the orange one, and here's the new one. Here's the Toyota rotor blue, which is the old one, and here's the Toyota rotor, which is the new one. Here's the copper rotor, here's the old one, and here's the new one. Less HD, nice texture. Here's the wooden railing, here's the old one, and here's the new one, which fits with others if you put them next to each other. Here's the old chair, and here's the new chair. If you want to know all the changes of this update, check the description, uh, check the change log in the comments probably, and like I said, if you've got items on the server, also check the description. We hope to see you on the server, it's probably already full because so many people want to join and it might crash, so please bear with us, any updates we'll put in the comments. This was Dalekmod update 63 for Minecraft 1.12.2, and we'll see you rather soon with a 1.16 update of a brand new remade Dalek mod. Thank you for watching.